So let's say we have the probability of A given B. What this is telling us is that what is the probability of having something happening given that something happened before? So we are asked what is the probability of A given that B occurred first? And you express this as follows. So this is the probability of A and B over the probability of B. Remember that on bottom goes the one that is on the right. It's always the same thing. And the other one, we have the probability of B given A. It's equal to the probability of B and A over, remember, it's always the, the one on the right. This is useful on an exam. So in these circumstances, what Bayes' theorem is telling us is, is that if both A and B are independent, this means that you can use the following property. Essentially what you are doing here is that now we are going to change this one to this side and this one to this side. We didn't change anything, we're just sending this one to the other side. So we are essentially left with the following. The probability of B times the probability of A given B is the same as having the probability of A times the probability of B given A. When this is useful is that if you need to find out the other one, let's say you start off with the probability of A given B and you want to know the probability of B given A, what you do essentially here is just divide it by the one that you need to cut. What this means is let's say you want to know the probability of B given A. What you do here essentially is that you're going to divide this by the probability of A, both sides. So these ones cancel out. And since you are essentially looking out to find out this one, what you get here essentially is that the probability of B given A is the same as having the probability of B times the probability of A given B over the probability of A. If you wanted to know the other way around, so essentially you want, wanted to know the probability of A given B, so what you do here in this specific case, you would do the same thing, but with the other one. So you would be dividing this by the probability of B, both sides. These ones would be cancelling off and you are left off with the probability of A is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A over the probability of B.